Hello again, this is Eric with VBString.com and okay on this we're gonna this video we're gonna learn about uh, scope and the scope of different procedures more specifically so here we have a command button a little button called button 3 it's, uh, that when I click it, it it says press ok to continue so I click ok now I want to see uh, that that's generated by if I right click on this button and choose assign macro I see a button called new message okay this is about the public procedure now if I go ahead and choose cancel here going ahead and choose again I'm left clicking on one of the cells I'm going ahead and going to the VB window okay the VB explorer the VBA editor let's call it that so uh, here I'm going to press alternate my alternate key F11 that's a shortcut to get to the to get to this your window and now I'm going to go here and I look at new message so this is again it's a public procedure that means that you can see the procedure in the assigned macro window I'm going to save my real estate here so my space by this click in and make it in uh, okay now I'm going to take this here for same procedure just gonna copy it okay and this is your time say and make this into private okay private new message and then I'm gonna call it something different okay this is a private new message and I'm gonna rename this one I'm gonna call it public new message just uh, so that we uh, we put the uh, so we know which one it is when I go to the, the macro box now I'm going to save this and this one's by default everything's a public procedure so I'm going ahead and, uh, and making this public message uh, message to you let's say okay so I have three procedures so the scope is, again is what what sees this here procedure uh, the public and this is real important for Excel because uh, and it's often difficult to understand but we have a we have three types of procedures here we have just plain sub which is really the same as this public one so really there's two there's but this well, we have three here but there's really two private or public so private or public, this is public, this is private, this is public. Again, public and private are the two. This one defaults. Number three defaults to be public. So, okay. Again, public sub procedure this. You notice it's public. And then private sub procedure this. Now this particular uh, procedure can only be viewed inside of this your window, so it's useful not for the not for the worksheet, not to be called for a worksheet. This one again, public sub two. Now we're going to see about going back to the worksheet here and seeing what can this see. Now if I click this button, it, it can't be found. I get an error message. I say the error it comes up examples.xls is the name of my workbook new message is the name of my module okay now I'm going to right click on this assign macro and I got this button by going to it's a forms button the forms toolbar assign macro oh here are my two things so I have public new message this is my public procedure and this is my just by default it was a sub okay you may want to rewind the the video just to see it but notice I don't see my private here so which is uh, 
which is kind of good for the video because uh, you weren't supposed to see the private anyway. So notice that you can't see private procedures from here. So you have public and private, but you can see the public one, but you can't see the private one. Uh, one you have one that's missing, two and three. And here I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to select this. And now it says continue. Now it gives you what I want. So kind of a summary to assign a, a macro to a button for, on a worksheet make sure that the module or the macro is a public macro okay now back here again public public 2 okay, that was without the public one so public sub and these are sub procedures because it, the whole thing's a procedure. It, the whole thing's a procedure, and these are all little modules inside of a bigger procedure. So this is sub procedure. That's why they call it sub. And uh, some just choose to be a private procedure, uh, and some are public. Now, if you want to have just uh, visible within a procedure itself, name it uh, private is is fine. If you want to call a procedure from a workbook name it public okay thanks thanks for listening and uh hopefully you catch on a little bit later on or you caught this easy breezy and uh everything's great if not uh email me your questions uh eric at vbhowto.com and uh i'm sure that we'll get your get your answer taken care of thanks a lot again this is Eric and see you later. Bye.